decided that um, psychology was kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to try and understand people better and um, kind of kind of get a better feeling for different people's stories, you know. As I got more into my research and worked more with athletes on the concussion stuff, it uh, just kind of dawned on me that this is something this is something that's important to me and important to people around me. So I just kind of followed through on that and I wanted to keep that going. So my research is about uh, concussion prevention in varsity athletics and we use a, uh, a sample here at Trent University. Um, use the varsity program and uh, the big thing we're looking at right now is uh, how do athletes attitudes kind of influence their behavioral outcomes relating to injury prevention so with uh, with concussions specifically um, a lot of research shows that uh, athletes don't don't report their symptoms or they hide their symptoms they don't properly manage uh, the injury after it happens and we kind of want to take this and find out why and how we can uh, sort of develop programs around altering these attitudes and intentions to promote more positive uh, management practices, I guess, with, with athletes. I think the topic of concussion is, is growing and it's also very interesting because nobody really has too many answers yet. There's no really given way they can prevent it and management practices, there's so many different things out there that I think uh, a critical eye uh, in some uh, program evaluation would probably uh, probably do uh, do well. My experience playing rugby has been awesome. It's uh, I didn't play in my first year. Um, I wanted to take a year and just sort of get used to uh, university uh, life and just that next kind of level of um, academic pursuits, I guess. Uh, but in my second year, I decided to play. And it was it was great. You get to you get to meet so many people, and it really. Uh, Dave McCulley was the coach. He was the head coach. He so his uh, first year as head coach was my first year as a Trent athlete, and then uh, his last year as a coach was this year, which ironically enough was my uh, last year as well. And he uh, really drove a uh, a good, I guess overall work ethic so it wasn't just that I was a I was an athlete it was that I was a student athlete and really pushed like greater academic pursuits and just uh, his saying was always uh, Trent rugby doesn't just make good rugby players we make good people and I think that's kind of indicative of Trent as a whole as well even though I mean rugby takes a lot of my time it's uh, it also keeps me keeps me focused it keeps me grounded it, it gives me a way to sort of get out that, that stress of that paper, uh, whether that's in the gym or on the field just running around. It's, it's a good outlet and it's a good way, uh, I think, to keep me sort of focused on the bigger picture. I think rugby in particular has kind of shaped uh, my, my academic pursuits because, as I said, like my research is on concussions and that's something uh, that's very prevalent in uh, rugby as a sport and most, most contact sports, I guess, as well, like hockey and football and stuff too, um, and even, even soccer. But uh, I, think, I think the idea that um, I can take a sport that I play and apply my knowledge that I've gained at university to that sport to both develop it as a sport, but also make it safer for the players, I think that's a pretty, pretty, awesome, pretty awesome experience.